may have some, I think there are other agencies, uh, there might be some consideration for for uh, the ACCC to be called back, but I'll see how I go. I understand and, that. I did suggest that perhaps the, AOF, um, the AOFM could be sent home, but it was said that we didn't need to do that, that they could stay tonight. So I think, that, you know... It's just, just that there are a number of issues. I mean, I'll only be able to traverse one topic, but there are issues to do with energy markets, the gas market, uh, issues to do with electricity, Murray Goldman. But can I just go to the issue of Uggbert's? <laughs> uh, well, you know what? There's, there's a man in... No, it's no, a small it's Australian a serious business. Topic, uh, Senator, no, no, no. This man, this man, energy. Eddie Ogre, and his sure. company, Australian yeah. Leather, is in the fight of his life. Sure. We and understand it's a David that, and Goliath Senator. battle against a company that is trying to we crush him. That. And it is not a laughing matter, Mr. No, Cosgrave. I, I, it is not a laughing matter. What I apologise. He's going through an absolute hell. He's going through an absolute hell, having to go off to the United States to litigate where he's been dragged to for just trying to do his business. We understand the seriousness, Senator. So you received a complaint letter from Eddie Ogre. It was your segue, Senator, and I do. I do apologise. No, no, it's okay. It's 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 late, and and I, I I understand. You received a complaint letter from Mr. Eddie Ogre of the co of his company Australian Leather about Decker's back in June 2016. Is that right? Yes, I think so. Mr. Gregson's the expert. And Mr. Ogre, on behalf of his company, was complaining that Decker's use of the words "Ugg Australia" on all of its products and marketing was misleading. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Mr. Sims? The words "Ugg Australia" mean to the average consumer? I'll look up. I think best bypass to the expert, uh, Senator Xenophon. S Senator, we looked at similar issues in the past. Well, sorry, Mr Sims, you don't need to be an expert. If, if, you see, if a consumer sees a product that says Ugg Australia, does that imply that it's an Australian product? I think it probably does, Senator. I was really passing to Mr Gregson, who's most familiar, who would give you the most efficient uh, answer. But I, I take your point. I think Ugg Australia does uh, imply uh, some uh, sense that it's manufactured in Australia. I think that's a fair... I would think that a fair comment. S Senator, we'd considered those issues in previous years. We, we hadn't formed that same view. We reconsidered them in relation to the last approach and took a different view. Um, that is similar to that which you've raised and that Mr Sims has mentioned there, that we do think the reference to UG Australia gives some connection to Australia, either through ownership uh, product or otherwise. OK. So it's, isn't it, it's a descriptive term as well as brand name? That, that, that's right, Senator. Yeah, we right. believe it has uh, some further meaning to it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the case that the ACCC forced the uh, Just Squeezed group to cease using the brand name Just Squeezed in 2006 because it was misleading, i.e. the company could no longer use the brand no, as their right. juice was not Just Squeezed. Mm. Correct, yes. Yeah. So isn't the same thing? Isn't Ugg Australia fundamentally a misleading brand name? Uh, Senator, I don't think we got to the position of saying fundamentally misleading. There, there are other um, issues associated with the company, including its history. We certainly formed the view that the matter was worth pursuing. Um, having taken it up with the company, um, they were considering and then further pressed to go ahead with a rebranding uh, exercise, which we're currently following up on. Well, I mean, so you agree that the fact that Ugg boots, the, the Ugg Australia boots have a small label inside the boot stating it is made in China is sufficient to alert the average consumer to where the Ugg boot is made? Oh no, Senator, that, that wasn't uh, a view that we formed, uh, nor right. one that I would subscribe to. We look at the overall impression given uh, by the product, the way it's presented, where it's sold, um, all those issues. Uh, the simple use of a, uh, a swing tag uh, hidden inside a boot or a product doesn't excuse any other broader issues. Um, but we do need to look at what is a representation made. Um, in this instance, we did form the view that Ugg Australia gave some meaning together with the way it's presented, and that's why we pursued the matter. OK, so you spent six months investigating Mr Oiger's complaint? It, it, there were certainly six months uh, of us dealing with that issue, that's right. Sure. And during that six months, did you ever meet with Mr Oiger or his legal advisor to obtain any further information or evidence? Uh, we had discussions with his legal advisor. You did? Indeed. OK. You sure about that? Uh, I believe it was me personally. OK. Did you write to or meet with any members of the Australian Sheepskin Association or the Australian Ugboot industry? Uh, no, we didn't, Senator. Did you speak to any consumers about what the words Ugg Australia meant? Or did you uh, feel no, the need Senator. to? So who did you speak to? Uh, Senator, we are fairly well practised in considering 
the representations made and whether evidence um, is sufficient to found a case of misleading conduct. Uh, we also obtained um, legal advice to assist us with how the courts might uh, interpret uh, those matters. Right, so you spoke to Decker's lawyers, is that right? Uh, we had communications, I can't tell you whether with, with Decker's directly or its lawyers, I'd have to check the records on that. Okay, you may want to take that on notice. So I understand that Deckers have agreed to remove the word Australia from all their products and branding, is that right? That's right, through a, 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 a transition uh, regime. Okay, is that a case that, that you required Deckers to do that as part of some agreement or had they already, uh, as part of an undertaking or they already decided to, re oh, to rebrand? It, it's hard to tell from um, the communications how much they were uh, already down that path, Senator. Um, I don't think we take full credit, but I think we certainly pushed them further and uh, sped up the, the process. So they had decided or they hadn't decided to? Senator, I think they had um, rebranding in mind and they had taken some steps to go down that path. As I said, I think our intervention uh, made that a uh, more um, uh, effective transition and, and one that was quicker. We often find, Senator, that companies change their behaviour and we engage with them. Now, quite how much we brought about and how much they were going to do anyway is always hard to tell, but. I, you know, so, I, so I suspect it, without our involvement they would not have changed. It, the information I've received is that it is it the case that they decide to rebrand because regulators overseas believe the words like Australia were likely to mislead because all of Decker's boots are made in China. Is it, are you aware of any other regulators taking action? Uh, Senator, I'm not aware of any other regulators taking action there. I'm familiar with the, the actions um, uh, to do with the name UG. Um, but not ones from other regulators. Okay, so you didn't require Deckers to remove the words UG Australia within any specific time frame, or were they allowed to do it at their leisure? Uh, we um, sought to get some clarity about the time frames uh, that they were proposing. Uh, we pressed them on those and we're now following them up on those uh, time frames. So they haven't given you an undertaking as to a time frame at this stage? No, this matter wasn't resolved with a, an undertaking. We had a clear understanding from them about the time frames that they would be uh, looking to and as I said, we're following up. Uh, so, so what is your clear understanding about the time frame? Senator, I don't have those time frames in front of me. Could you take um, that on notice, please? But there is no Senator. time frame at this stage, is there not? Oh, no, we had, we had an understanding about the time frames in which they would uh, uh, be moving, and we've been following those up. We've had letters out with the business in the last month. I'm led to believe that we had a response uh, late last week. OK, but, but, I mean, some would say this is a case of the ACCC allowing a large multinational corporation, I think with a market cap of about $2 billion, US to continue engaging in an arguable breach of the law until they've sold all of their falsely labelled stock to unsuspecting Australian consumers and also uh, unsuspecting tourists because this is actually impacting on local ugly manufacturers and a number of them have been shut down by litigation by Deckers uh, on an alleged breach of copyright. Uh, Senator, we have to make choices about how we uh, uh, prioritise work, how we identify the matters we pursue and the resolutions that we, we accept. Um, our judgement in this case was that there was an arguable case of misleading conduct. Uh, we took it up with the business. They had put on the table steps to move away from the conduct right. and that's the, the resolution okay. we accepted. A and, and can I just take it, because I, Chair, you're going to have to let me know time frames in terms of this, because um, I know others have questions to ask. Uh, Deckers said that those who, uh, who make boots that, that, that aren't Deckers Ugg boots are invariably uh, terrorists, gangsters and members of the mob. And this was on their, on their website. It said terrorist gangs and mobs sell counterfeits and made all these references to uh, the Gambino family, the Sunni, it's quite, it's quite hysterical, the Sunni on triads, the Camorra, uh, like Hossa Nostra, Chinese triads, the Japanese Yakuza, the Russian Mafia, Al Qaeda, Hezbollah finance their operations, saying that if, if you're not buying a Decker's uh, Ugg boot, you're, you're helping to fund, and this was on, it's been taken off the website now, but at the time that was the subject of the complaint that Mr. Uh, Oiga put to you. Um, does the ACCC have a view of these claims? Because they're quite shocking um, and, and, well, to me, quite unbelievable claims uh, that uh, Mr. Oiga and his company, and indeed all Australian Ugg boot makers, may have been lumped in with them. Is that, was there any consideration given of those sorts of claims? That, that, that's right, Senator. Those matters were put to us at the same time. 
Um, I think the representations were, um, uh, I'm not sure if you were quoting there, I, th I thought they were a bit vaguer than that, but regardless we... No, I was actually quoting the reference to Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, Chinese tribes, Japanese Yakuza, etc, etc. Sh sure, uh, uh, but, but not the preceding references that you made in terms of stating that all other producers in Australia... No, no, what they said, they said that terrorist gangs and mobs sell counterfeits. So there was an implication that if you don't buy Deckers... Senator, I think that implication um, mm. uh, was one that some could make, but I don't think it would have founded the, the actions for us to sure. pursue. All right. In terms... I, I do have some other questions around this. Chair, can I get some guidance from you? I do have... I, I just want to know what the time frame is like. I know Senator others Rice have... Senator about 10 minutes of questions, and then we have at least 15 minutes for the AOFM. So if you could keep your questions tight, Senator. All right. I, I do have more questions to put there in relation to that. Uh, oh, sorry, and I've been told by the lawyer for, um, for Australian uh, Leather that uh, those claims are still uh, on the website, that he's, he's advised me by text. Um, could you... Uh, you may want to take this on notice in terms of the status of the gas inquiry uh, and have there been any early findings or recommendations uh, noting that uh, I have visited...